Hello everyone. I'm back again with yet another free certification video. This time the opportunity is around Google Cloud. So let's delve deeper into how to get registered in this program and how to make use of it to gain a free certification. So there are basically four editions in this get certified program and currently the registrations are open for edition two of the program. You can see the edition two runs from May 20 to August 1, 2024, and the registrations for edition two close on 30th of April 2024 at 5 p.m. PT, that is specific time zone. So friends, uh, when this video goes live, there is a very short time to register for edition two. But if you are watching the video when the timeline to register for edition two has already passed, you can Put a reminder in your calendar to register for edition three or edition four, which is happening in near future. Now there are different certifications which are eligible in each edition of this program. As you can see in edition two, uh, the certifications that are applicable are associate cloud engineer, professional cloud architect, professional data engineer, professional machine learning engineer. If you are someone who is interested in professional cloud security engineer certification, then edition two is not meant for you. You need to wait for edition three, which starts on August 6th. However, the registrations will open well before August 6th. So keep a watch out on our channel as we will notify you when registrations are open for edition three and edition four as well in future. If you are someone who is interested in doing cloud digital leader, then the cloud digital leader is only part of edition four, which starts on October 14, which is a bit far away at the moment, but re the registrations are expected to open somewhere in September. So, Again, watch out the channel to get notified on when the registrations are open. Now, basically the program is divided into multiple phases. You do not get direct entry into the program. You join a wait list. So as you can see, the timeline is now on your screen. First of all, you will apply for the program and that's what we are going to do today. As soon as you register, you do not get entry into the program. You join a wait list. Then you will be accepted or rejected into the program. So just to focus here, registering in the program doesn't mean that you will be accepted. You will be joining a wait list. It all depends on the acceptance criteria, whether you are accepted into the program or not. Once you are accepted into the program in the opening week, you will be receiving a seven day access to instructor led training labs and information on progressing to stage two, which is where the certification journey will start. So friends, if you get accepted into this program, then you are going to get access to the instructor led trainings as well. So it is a very good opportunity. If you want to get started with Google Cloud, then this is the right platform. This is the right program that you should be across. Now, once you are into the program and you have gone through the seven day uh, instructor led training, then the certification journey starts, which is a structured 10 week based learning for focused progress. Anytime access to skill boost for flexible self study. That is their learning platform. Six live exam review sessions for expert guidance. You get you are getting a lot of uh, support from Google to um, finish the certification and uh, have a seamless journey with them. And finally, you get certified. Now, friends, uh, let's lead, read through some of the FAQs as these might be something which will be of your interest as you should know what you are getting into and what is the benefit after joining the program. So the get certified program has a thorough application review process. All applicants begin on a wait list. As I said, you join a wait list. You are not accepted in the program as soon as you join. And you are considered for admission by the get certified team to start the process and receive the most relevant updates and information about the program. Please provide your company name and email address. Now, what I have felt is there is a lot of focus on providing your company email address and company's name. Um, though I personally feel it shouldn't be a acceptance criteria in the program, but since they have stressed on providing the uh, company name and email address. So if you are working for a corporate, then uh, you should 
provide these details but if you are someone for example if you are a student and you don't have these details then i would encourage you to just use your personal address and see whether you get accepted or not because there is no harm in trying uh, if you don't get accepted then obviously it's your luck but if you get accepted you will be able to uh, go through the journey and get certified now the other questions are uh, how do i drop of the get certified waitlist uh, really doesn't matter much at this point. Uh, the main thing is when will I hear back about my registration for the program? So the get certified program has limited seats. We review applications on a first come first serve basis and will update you on your status as soon as possible. So friends, as soon as you come across this video and you are in, you are someone who is interested in doing Google Cloud certification, make sure to do the first thing uh, is the registration because this is a first come first serve basis. You should register as soon as possible to maximize your chances to get accepted into the program due to the limited seats. You should expect a response no later than 10 business days prior to this start of an addition. So folks, those two were the main FAQs that you should be across. But if you are interested in reading all the FAQs, then this link to registration will be available in the description section of this video. Feel free to go through it and read all the other FAQs available. So now let's try to uh, click on apply now and see what happens. So there is a small form that has opened in front of you to create your dev profile. Let's try to create one. So I'm based out of Sydney, Australia. So I'll choose Sydney, Australia at the moment. My experience is established 11 plus years. I'll choose that, but obviously whatever is your experience level and what are your locations, please choose based on that. And I am a DevOps engineer, so I'm going to choose DevOps engineer, create my dev profile. So this is the first step where the dev profile has got created. Um, as you can see, there is a confirmation your dev profile created successfully. Now subscribe to news and program announcements, which is optional. It is up to you if you want to hear from them. I hope they don't spam you. Uh, then feel free to uh, check this box, but I'm not really interested in knowing about those things at this point. And this is pretty much uh, small acknowledgement saying that uh, you will adhere to the uh, terms and conditions of the program and just click become a member. So that's it. That part is done. Now to join the waitlist, the, the, here comes the next part. Eligibility for the get certified program requires the following information. Uh, they are stressing a lot on uh, knowing the organization name and corporate email. Uh, so uh, it looks like it will have some weightage. So I would highly encourage you to uh, use uh, to put your organization details and corporate email here if you have. But if you don't have, then uh, there is no harm in trying it with your personal address as well. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my personal details at this point uh, as I'm already registered with my uh, official email address uh, for the program already. But for the sake of this demonstration, I'm going to use my personal email address. So the details are now on your screen. Um, I would highly encourage you to use your corporate address if available. Otherwise, go ahead with using your personal details and we'll just click join waitlist. So friends, with this, we have got a confirmation that uh, we are now in the wait list. As you can see, this badge confirms that you are now on, you are on the wait list and will be shown in your developer profile. If I click on view profile, I'll be taken to my developer profile and I should be able to see this badge there. So I'm hoping that I will get an email once I am accepted in this program, because at the moment it says get certified waitlister. That means I am currently in waitlist, neither I am rejected nor I am accepted. And if I go to my email, then I have got an email confirmation as well that my Google profile, Google developer profile has got created. I can go ahead and complete my profile as well. So friends, as you can see now earlier, uh, my status was showing as apply for the program and the uh, the yellow uh, button that is showing up at the bottom was saying as uh, say, uh, was showing at that you are here, but now it shows as that you are in the wait list. So uh, you will receive an email from the get certified team on the status of your application in at least a week before the addition kicks off. 
In the meantime, discover the latest updates, technologies, and exclusive benefits to enhance your Google Cloud expertise as an innovator. So if you are keen to learn about new things happening around Google, feel free to explore the URLs by clicking on go to innovators and that should open a new page for you where you can scroll through the different material that is available to enhance your experience with Google Cloud. So folks, that's all for this video. I will try to bring new opportunities around different cloud certifications or different vendors as and when they become available. If you think this content will benefit you in the future, then do not forget to subscribe the channel. And as always, like the video and leave a comment if this video has benefited you.